Welcome to part 10 of Budokai. Budokai! Loading. My name Loading. is Sal. I'm an android who has come back in time from the future. From the future! <laughs> <laughs> How did I know? Your foreheads are huge! He looks like Raccoon to me, but that's just me. Raccoon with the Mohawk? Uh, Android 16, yeah. Did you ask me, Android? So it looks like a beetle here. He does. A lot of a lot of the Japanese things are based on bugs, especially some of the superheroes. <laughs> How is it that like like in this universe, so they don't they don't get yelled at for their name or like laughed at for their names? Like his name is Cell. Trunks' his name is Pants. So is um, Bulma's. Yeah, her last name is Brief. No way. Because. Balma has, or the Briefs family has a lot of respect in West City, and nobody is stupid enough to make fun of Cell. Of course, they made fun of Great Saiyan Man because of his outfit, but... Well, Great, Great Saiyan Man's amazing. Well, the Great Saiyan Man was basically... If, if The Great Saiyan Man was basically a rejected member of the Ginyu Force. Basically, yeah. If it, if it, if it, wasn't, Go, if it wasn't Gohan... He's an outcast. Look, well, if you look at one of the um, uh, one of the backstories on in one of these games, I can't remember which one it is. It actually says that the uh, Great Saiyan Man's poses were based off of the Ginyu Force poses that Gohan had seen a lot of when he was a child. How am I not surprised? But Great Saiyan Man in the game is actually a really good character. We know how to use him, right? In this game, yes. In other games, I'm not so sure. He's good in all three Budokai games, from what I've used of him. Well, the Budokai game, well, I haven't gotten to him yet in uh, Raging Blast this time. I, it's been over two years since I played Raging Blast the last time. Is it just me? Oh, yeah. Is it, or is it just me, or did Android 16's name plate under his scouter window look like it said Big? That's probably just you. Yeah, it's probably just you. Oh, God. We're so saying Big the Cat with Dragon Ball. That's not good. <laughs> well, it's more, it's more or less Duke Nukem anyway, so... <laughs> Have you guys seen that death battle from Screw Attack? Um, Goku versus Superman? I don't need yeah. to. I know how it ends, and I don't like it. I haven't seen it. That battle is bullshit. Goku would kick Superman's ass any day. Wait, yeah. Superman won? Yeah. Yep. How did Superman win? All <laughs> that, he do is... That's... <laughs> The same way Rainbow Dash beat Starscream, okay? This is why Spirit Attack is wrong. Now, where'd his wings go? He should have wings in all three forms. Well, Jay, then again, Starscream is a pussy. He would get his ass beaten by a Pegasus. Yeah. He's voiced by a pussy, I mean, Well, Well, with Screw Attack, it's not, it's not like, based on fact, it's based on favoritism, favoritism for them. They're biased. Well, not according to the uh, not according to the interview that they did, but that's an interview. And besides, whatever Superman can do, Goku can do better. Fly. He can go. Can go. Can use instant transmission. Goku can breathe better. And for the viewers wondering what who played this game, who are wondering why we're not fighting Cell as going on right now, that's because I'm saving that for the final part. So this is is this my favorite one? Yes, this is after you unlock this don't after you break, the game. Don't spoil it. I want you to see what happens. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. Love this. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying you complete you get this after you complete the game. So I did them out of order for these two parts. This is actually my favorite what if scenario. Oh, you'll see some when we get to Raging Blast. I'll, I'm telling. Let me tell you now. Yeah. <laughs> Wow! I wonder, how, it. I, I wonder how funny it was for them just to like do screams. All right, we want you to sound like you're getting your ass beat, but not like you're getting your ass beat if you catch my drift. Uh. Well, they had experience with the anime, so I'm pretty sure it wasn't that hard. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. Way before this. I know, but I know. <laughs> I know. I know, but like. Sacrifice attack. No. 
I know, but what I mean is like their first try time recording the lines. Well, if it was, that was... Me, I'd show them. I'd show them the Japanese version so they know what they're going for. Okay, well, fuck this recorder too. Mine's still going. Okay, because that's a really stupid design for a recorder. I can only with my recorder, I can only record it up to five minutes at one time. Wow. Wow. At least Jay's doing it, so. Ha <laughs> 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 And this is what it's a what if scenario. <laughs> <laughs> he turned into a Cyberman or a Cell Junior. He lost too much power. So time to go. I'm trying to I'm trying to make a curling its own joke, but I don't know where to go with it. He doesn't even have a team hmm. anymore. A cold blooded assassin. So what would you call this former cell? Krillin absorbed. Krell. Yes, yeah, actually, Krell actually is the fan name for this character. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh I just came, dude, I just came out of that out of the blue. <laughs> oh, that voice. Aw, oh, he's so adorable. I want to beat him up. He's cheesy. Well, I love Cell's voice here. It's so hilarious. Please tell me Amsha loses. Yes, actually, he does. <laughs> Spoilers? If Yamcha wins, something's horribly wrong here. Well, I just got through a battle where Yamcha beat Raccoon. Okay, now I know that's why. Well, it actually happened in the anime, so... Oh my god. Oh, are you talking about on, uh, King Guy's Planet? Yeah. Yamcha, Yamcha being useful does not seem legit! Does not seem legit! <laughs> Stop stealing Jake's lines! Pausing won't save you! And he still has Bug Cell's voice. <laughs> he looks like Krillin in a cosplay. Aww. He's so huh. tiny. Krillin so cos <sighs> Krillin cosplaying a cell. That's that's something I want to see now. And if you look closely, his turtle emblem is p embla emblazoned on the wings. Or is it Cell cosplaying as Krillin? No, it's Krillin cosplaying a cell. It's too small to be Cell. The Cell's just on his knees or something. He'd still be too tall. Well, if y'all remember the end of Dragon Ball GT when Goku and Krillin have their little sparring match on Master Roshi's Island, um, I'm surprised Krillin didn't disintegrate from touching Goku's clothes. <laughs> Wait, why? Because Goku's so damn powerful and Krillin's an old man. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen GT. Oh, I'm sorry. I just spoiled the final episode. No, I wasn't, I wasn't planning on watching it. Oh. Well, Juan, you're not missing much. Yeah, no. you, yeah. Not really. Oh, pretty went, much all you're missing is um, space, 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 more space for 25 episodes. Space! Um, and then two episodes of Super 17. And then the rest of it is, um, Shadow Dragons Shadow and Dragons. Super Saiyan 4. You forgot filler. That's what space was. <laughs> oh. Space! Space. Did you Ooh, say space? It's all a dream. <laughs> Who knew that Sokka have a nightmare? Well, that's what happens when you sit, when you stand at the edge of your homemade ring. For ten days straight? <laughs> Yeah. It's made out of styrofoam and super glue. <laughs> well, with I the way you... it breaks, yeah. No, no, no. It makes sense. Mr. Popo invaded his dreams. Uh... Oh? Cell must have a lot of patience if he can stand there without doing anything for two weeks. He's a robot. He's one of those guys. He's not a robot because he can breathe and he grew up. He actually grew uh. from a little larva. <laughs> 